it's very common requirement uh, when when we say that uh, we are working in the support projects uh, can you assign this uh, manager uh, as a line manager or project manager for another employee and uh, hr administrator is trying to perform that activity and uh, they may raise some support ticket saying that uh, uh, this manager name is not exist it's not populated over here oh, right now the manager name is Prem Kumar it's not coming in the list what could be the reason so a uh, couple of things we have to check here uh, first one is uh, uh, what is your employee name right now uh, it is Sudhir Kumar uh, which legal employer is working Tata Finance legal employer and uh, when he has joined 1st January 2023. And of course, the current assignment date also 1st January 2023. Fine. Now, for this particular employee, we would like to assign the manager. So when the manager has joined here, let me just go for close and let me search for the manager details here. Now, Prem Kumar also is working for the same legal employer fine that's that's fine but his starting date is 24th october 2023 that's the start date so he can be a manager from today means 24th october 2023 he can be a manager for your employees from today not for the old dates not for the old days because his joining date, hire date is today only, right? Hire date is today. So if you update that, Prem Kumar is the manager for Sudhir from today, then it's okay. Not a problem. System, it will allow. But if you say earlier he was the manager, then obviously it's a wrong transaction because his joining date is 24th October. How can he become as a manager in sometime September or August, right? That's why when you try to update, he is the manager for uh, Sudhir, then you have to specify the date, from which date is going to be managed, okay? So when we say we wanted to update uh, the record, let me go for with the date rack. Means instead of correction mode, we have to go with update. Yeah. Search for an employee. Get it. If I go for correction. Uh, then what happened, uh, you are trying to assign that manager as a line manager for this employee from 1st January 2023. But we want to go with uh, uh, that by that time, this person was not there. Prem Kumar was not there. So I'll go for update. When we go for update, system will ask you from which date onwards he is going to be an uh, employee manage okay so this is what we call it as a date right correction means it will overwrite the record update means it will maintain the history in the database old record will be disabled the new record is going to be new record is going to be enabled okay so what we have to do here is uh, we have to specify from so and so date this concept is very important. You, I have prepared one video with another example. That's all. So, it's in the interviews also, they'll be asking you, what is the difference between uh, update and uh, difference between update and correction? It's a day track. It's a day track here. You can search with RTL online training date track. Then you will get it here. 
and you will get uh, one more example with seniority dates and other. This is day track options. Okay, fine. So now, uh, now we will see that. So we are trying to change the manager, right? It's promotion manager change. The reason behind that is. Uh, We already discussed how to configure actions and action reasons in our previous session. We did for a higher action. Same thing we can perform for any action. Wherever we find these two fields, action and action reason, the same procedure will follow for configuration. So, Mr. Prem Kumar is going to be manager from today. Effective date is from today. That's what we are trying to do. Let me remove the existing managers who are already available. And now I'm searching for the manager name called Prem Kumar. Now we can find him. Active. So, this is very common issues when we try to search for some record if not exist you have to take care of first oh, the record is exist or not if exist whether it is enabled or disabled if it is enabled then what is effective start date and then if you want to go for update with this current one then we will go with this uh, you know uh, effective start date that's a date track concept here and i'm going to say that mr prem kumar is the manager for sudhir from 24 October from 2023 onwards that's that's the difference between correction and uh, update now we are trying to change the manager name Let's search for the record, Sudhir Kumar. But the information is updated or not, manager. It's been updated. And in fact, uh, we have already discussed how the user account will be generated for Sudhir Kumar. And we can find that user account here. And we'll see how to log in and how to check who is the manager, like self-information. So if employee role is assigned, then automatically we can go for check the employee details here. Uh, this is the user account, right? And it's active status. When any employee log into the applications, if he is having employee role, then what employee can do is 
employee can go to navigator and access this information personal information here and we can find here of course these are general information personal details family and emergency contacts contact information this is major additional sorry employment information so employment information is going to have the details here click on employment information or which legal employer is working which be you job no department grade and who is the manager this this information we can find this this is all details so this is about uh, how we can go for update the manager in case if manager like this employee record is not exist or when i try to assign the manager i'm not able to see the manager details if this type of support issues are coming this is how we are supposed to resolve it okay thank you